It is estimated that some 12 to 15 million people worldwide do not belong to any country and as a result are stateless. The numbers could be even higher. As the UN High Commissioner for Refugees stated in 2011, statelessness is the most forgotten human rights problem in today's world. Many would also agree that the denial of citizenship and statelessness is also one of the most radical forms of injustice today and it is one of the most silent, overlooked, and underreported as well. A person can find themselves stateless under a number of circumstances, shifting borders, conflict, the creation of states, and legal gaps in citizenship laws. But many times, statelessness comes as a result of the deliberate denial of the fundamental right to citizenship, mostly because of discrimination. Statelessness impacts individuals in almost every aspect of their daily lives. It leaves them paralyzed from being able to navigate through life today, where they have almost no control over the course of their futures. Oftentimes, stateless people are denied the ability to travel freely, they are denied the ability to go to school and access social services, and to be issued documents vital today, such as birth certificates, ID cards, passports, marriage certificates, and driver's licenses. They are often beyond the protection of laws and struggle to have their culture, language, and historical heritage recognized in the, included in the larger fabric of society. They struggle almost every day with the ability to feel like they belong. Hannah Arendt describes it very clearly. To be stripped of citizenship is to be stripped of worldliness. It is like returning to a wilderness as cavemen or savages. They could live and die without leaving any trace. In most cases, statelessness doesn't usually take on the form of violence, murder, killing, or physical abuse. In most cases, it is a silent form of exclusion that evades the headlines. Yet, it rests as the root cause for any number of issues that are widely talked about in the media and via the world of human rights, such as forced migration, human trafficking and smuggling, child labor, gender discrimination, forced and bonded labor, and in some cases, conflict. This leaves stateless people as some of the most invisible, neglected, and powerless people in the world. This project focuses on three stateless groups that span three different continents, the Rohingya from Burma, the Nubians from Kenya, and Dominicans of Haitian descent in the Dominican Republic. All three communities have unique histories, yet they represent the struggles and challenges faced by millions of stateless people worldwide. The Nubian community in Kenya has lived in the country for over 100 years, yet has historically been denied recognition. After Kenya's independence, many people in the Nubian community were not extended Kenyan nationality, and since then they have struggled for many social, civil, and economic rights. Up until the most recent census conducted in 2009, the Nubian community was not a formally recognized tribe of Kenya. They were considered as other Kenyans or simply others. They have faced difficulties in obtaining national ID cards, passports, as well as economic opportunities that are easily accessible to Kenyans from other tribes, and they have been denied title to the land they have lived on for over 100 years. Recent developments in Kenya's laws and new constitution over the past year have provided some hope for the Nubian community, but having been marginalized economically and politically for decades, the community still faces a number of challenges. The Rohingya are a Muslim minority from the North Rakhine state in western Burma. Over the past 40 years, the Burmese government has systematically stripped over one million Rohingya of their citizenship. Recognized as one of the most oppressed ethnic groups in the world, the Rohingya are granted few social, economic, and civil rights. They are subjected to forced labor, arbitrary land seizure, religious persecution, extortion, the freedom to travel, and face severe restrictions in the right to marry. Because of the abuse they endure in Burma, hundreds of thousands of Rohingya have fled Burma to seek sanctuary in neighboring Bangladesh, where they are unwanted, unrecognized refugees and live a hand-to-mouth existence. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, has confirmed that the statelessness of the Rohingya is not just a Burma-related problem, but a problem with larger regional implications. And in the Dominican Republic, hundreds of thousands of people of Haitian ancestry live in the Dominican Republic including tens of thousands of children and young adults who were born in the country. Ethnic Haitians have played a vital role in the development of the Dominican Republic. Haitians have, played, have been the backbone of the lucrative sugar industry for over 70 years. In recent years, they have made invaluable contributions to the construction and service industry. But governmental directives, changes in migration laws, and a change in the constitution of the Dominican Republic over the past decade have denied or retroactively stripped Dominican citizenship away from tens of thousands of Dominico-Haitian youth. As a result, thousands of Dominicans of Haitian descent 
find themselves unable to access opportunities afforded to other Dominican citizens, such as legal employment, access to social services, or the right to continue their education and to legally marry. While the situation in the Dominican Republic has now gained the attention of the inter-American courts and international human rights organizations, it remains the largest case of statelessness in the Western Hemisphere. In many ways, statelessness is a taboo subject that many governments do not want to discuss, primarily because in most instances, discriminatory and intolerant policies by governments themselves are the reasons for people actually becoming stateless in the first place. This project aims to help provide a face and expose the stories to what many see as an intangible and complex issue that is now only starting to gain attention of governments and policymakers around the world.